So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make three different delicious homemade lemonade recipes. So I've got a pitcher of my normal lemonade here, and then in each of these adorable little mason jars, I have a different flavor of lemonade. So I think this is perfect now that it's summertime, it's super hot outside, everybody loves lemonade, and this is a great idea, I think, just for when you're sitting at home. Also, if you go to a party and you're in charge of drinks, I think this is a really fun way to do it. I just think all around it's a really cute, fun idea for a summer drink recipe that everybody will love. So, let's get started. So what you're going to need is about 20 lemons, just to be safe, a pint of blueberries, a pint of raspberries, one cup of strawberries, a handful of mint leaves, one peach ripe, a pitcher, a lot of sugar, measuring cups, a strainer, and a big spoon. So to make the lemonade, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a plain lemonade base. So I'm gonna take all these lemons, get the lemon juice out of them, and then make a batch of normal lemonade in this pitcher here. But since the fruit syrups are what's gonna take the longest, we're actually gonna start with those first. So that way they can sit and we can get the juice out of them. And while they're setting, then I'll actually make the lemon juice. So we're gonna start with the syrups. So I'm just going to take the strawberries, cut off the tops, and cut them into fourths, and then put them in my bowl here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with all the strawberries that I have here, they're all sliced up. So now I'm going to take one third a cup of sugar and pour them over the strawberries. Once you got them all covered, then you're just going to put them to the side and let them sit. Usually it takes about 45 minutes for them to be ready, which is why I decided to do this part first because that way it can be getting ready while I do everything else. Next, I'm going to do the raspberry syrup. This one is the easiest, which is what makes it my favorite. Literally, I just pour the pint of raspberries after I wash them into this bowl and now I'm just going to mash them up. I'm gonna mash up the mint leaves with it because I think raspberry and mint would be a really good flavor combination. And then I'm gonna also put a third cup of sugar into here. So now that we've got our raspberries all sugared up and mashed, then I'm going to also just set these aside with the strawberries to sit. The last syrup that we're gonna make is the blueberry peach syrup. So I've got a pint of blueberries in the bowl, I'm just gonna leave those be. I've got a peach here that is very ripe and I'm just going to cut it up. And it doesn't matter that it still has the peel on it because it just doesn't matter, you'll see. <laughs> I'm going to cut mine into bite-sized pieces. Now that I have that done, I am going to add the blueberry and the peach into a saucepan. And for this mixture, since we have a little bit more fruit in our bowl than in the other two, we're going to actually put half a cup of sugar in the saucepan. And now I'm just going to put it on my stove top and put it on low heat and just let it kind of simmer. Now that I have the flavored syrups setting, I'm going to make the syrup for our lemonade base. So what we're gonna need to do for that is grab two cups of sugar and two cups of water, and put it in a large saucepan. Now for the water. Then you just wanna stir it together a bit and then you're gonna put it on the stove and bring it to a boil. And then once it's boiling, you're just gonna let it sit until all of the sugar dissolves. Okay, okay, time to get started on the lemonade. So, I've got my pitcher here. I'm going to grab that measuring cup again. This one here that's already two cups because that's how much lemon juice that we wanna have also. So, when I did this before, it took about 16 lemons to fill up two cups. It kind of just depends on the size of your lemons and how much juice you can get out of them. So the best way to squeeze these 
Firstly, you want to leave them at room temperature. That's going to help a lot. You don't want to refrigerate them if you're going to be squeezing them to make the lemon juice because then it's going to be really hard for you to squeeze them. So you're going to leave them at room temperature or you can also microwave them in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and that'll kind of help loosen them up as well. And then you just want to take them and you want to roll them on the counter. Okay, so now that all of my lemons are freshly squeezed, I'm going to cut them in half and squeeze the juice into my measuring cup here. Also, it helps to keep a trash can nearby so that as soon as you squeeze a lemon, you can just toss it in. Before I do anything else with the lemons, I'm going to check on the different syrups and make sure that I'm giving them a stir, especially the ones on the stove because you don't let them burn. I'm going to go ahead and add the mint to the raspberry now. I'm not going to mash them up, but I'm just going to make sure that I really mix them in here well and get them covered. Back to the lemon juice. So, if you'll notice, I didn't bother with the seeds while I was squeezing them because I just find that to be a little bit tedious. So what I do instead is I've got my pitcher here, I've got my lemon juice full of all the seeds that fell out of the lemon. I'm going to take my little mini strainer now and put it over the pitcher and then carefully pour the lemon juice into my pitcher so that all of the seeds and the pulp will get caught by the strainer. We'll be using strainer again later, so that is why I'm putting it here. So, now I've got the lemon juice in here. I'm going to take some of these lemons that I left behind, I'm going to cut them up, then I'm going to put some slices into the pitcher just for decoration and to also make sure that it's keeping that strong lemony flavor. Okay, I'm going to take the syrup. Now that all the sugar has dissolved out of it, just the base syrup of sugar and water that we have boiling, and I'm going to pour that into the pitcher. I'm going to give it a good stir. Now I'm going to fill with the rest of my pitcher all the way up with water and ice. Now I'm going to give it a good stir once again. And since my sugar water was just boiling and I want this lemonade to be ready to serve soon, I need some help with ice on top. Okay, all of the fruity syrups look like they're basically done. So this is the fun part. So we're going to have some little bowls here. And I am basically going to just strain the fruit chunks away from the juices and put the juice in the bowl because that's what we ultimately want. I'm going to start with the raspberry one. I've got some little bowls here as well for these juices. So I'm just going to take my strainer. Note that this part can get kind of messy because obviously my strainer is much bigger than the bowl that I have. And so you kind of have to either be really, really careful with it or just say the heck with it and let your counter get a little bit messy because you're going to have to wipe down even. But I usually just like to pour in a little bit at a time and I kind of mash it through there so that the juice goes through the holes but we can get all of the raspberry seeds and the mint leaves to stay on top. And we are done! Like I said, a little bit of a mess, it is okay. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out and then do the same thing with the other two mixtures. but I'm making three, technically four different lemonades at once. So that's why it kind of looks like a really long, crazy process. I promise it is much easier and simpler than I'm probably making it look right now. But we are on the home stretch. The last little bit is completely optional, but I think that it's a fun little addition. And that is to add 
some garnish to your drinks. So I'm gonna get those ready right now. So I've got the raspberries and the blueberries. I've got some mint that's left over. I'm going to just slice up a few strawberries. And then I'm also going to slice up this lemon as well. Oh, one of my hairs. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my three mason jars here and I'm going to start by just pouring in the plain lemonade, which is now cooled off tremendously thanks to all the ice that I've done here. I'm going to give it one more stir to make sure that all of the flavors are kind of mixed up. Then I'm going to pour it into my glasses. Now I'm just going to add one spoonful of the fruit mixture into each mason jar. Now it's time to add our toppings in. And then, just for fun, I'm going to add these adorable straws that I picked up at Target. It was a dollar for a pack of five of them. I'm just going to add these to my mason jars as well. So there you have it, everybody. These are the finished products. Personally, my favorite is the raspberry mint, and my family absolutely adores the blueberry peach one. Those are the two favorites in our household that go a really, really long way. So that's why I like doing the syrups in the little separate jars like that, because I find that it's a lot easier to everybody can kind of choose which flavor they like the best. You can also do this kind of method with any other fruits that you want to give a shot. It's mostly just kind of mashing it up, putting some sugar on it, and letting the juices come out. So usually when I do this, that's why I make one big picture of regular lemonade and then make the different syrups. So that way everybody can kind of personalize and customize their lemonade. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what your favorite flavor was that you tried if you do try to recreate this. In the description box, I will also leave links to my blog, which will have the recipe on it in more detail as well as my Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram pages because if you do make these. I would love to see you guys do them, so be sure to tag me in the pictures. As always, be sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button, and also let me know if you would like to see more videos of me in the kitchen making different things, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!